Hey YouTube, this is Mark, and about a year ago, I decided to get back into electronics. It's something I did as a kid, and uh, now I'm getting close to retirement, and I decided to get back into it. So I've uh, kind of set up, a, got kind of a setup here as far as learning electronics, uh, doing experiments. Uh, really, I just want to learn uh, electronics, and so this is the setup that I've got. I think it's a pretty good setup, so I thought I would share it uh, with other people who might be doing the same thing. So we'll start up here. So you can see I've got two old function generators and those are, uh, I'm sure I bought those probably back in the 80s, maybe the early 90s, but I'll bet it was in, sometime in the 80s. Uh, that VOM, that's an old Heath kit. And I uh, built that probably in the 70s. <laughs> it was a long time ago. But uh, for learning, uh, you know, like how, you know, capacitor, uh, you know, filters and stuff, it's really nice to have a high-speed function generator, which is the signal generator at the top, and then uh, kind of a lower speed one down at the bottom. And uh, I found both those are working great for the, the learning that I'm currently doing. So if we come down here, there's my old oscilloscope. I probably bought that back in the early 90s, late 80s, can't remember. Uh, but uh, it still works pretty good. I think an oscilloscope will be my next purchase. Uh, but for uh, what I'm doing right now, that, that seems to work uh, fine. Underneath that, there's a, a, it's an old heat kit uh, thing that I used when I was a kid learning about electronics. And I'll still hook that up every once in a while for the, the A's got AC, uh, 30 volts AC. And so if I'm doing something with AC, I'll use that. But uh, don't really tend to use that uh, uh, too much. And then over here, I've got a bunch of uh, spare leads and just a bunch of parts I've collected over the years. So then if we come over here, uh, you can see the switch here. And so... That switch actually is just an extension cord uh, that that runs to uh, uh, back behind there. You can see a big bundle of wires. And basically, that'll just turn everything off. So if I want to turn everything off with just one switch, uh, I can flip that switch and turn it off. So then uh, this is the computer that I use uh, to either look stuff up on or to program uh, Adreno. I kind of got into Adreno. That's what Actually, that's what got me started is I started playing with uh, Adrenos and uh, ESP32s and stuff. And I was just shocked how much how much fun it is and how easy it is to build stuff. Uh, but as I, the more I got into it, the more I really wanted to just learn electronics. I kind of got tired of buying, you know, parts that I could just plug into those. I, I wanted to kind of build my own stuff. So, so that's how I started in this setup. So the next thing we got over here are my power supplies. Uh, this is a really old power supply. I've had that for uh, probably about that back in the 90s. Uh, this is a really nice power supply that I built uh, that just uses a uh, uh, power supply out of an old computer. And uh, maybe I'll do another video on that. Uh, I, I really like this. Uh, and then this is power supply that I just recently bought. It's nice because it does uh, cur current limiting uh and it's nice to have uh two power supplies uh although i've all, also got this one up here but the nice thing about this one is you can run it down to near zero volts so if you're doing stuff where you need you know 0.6 volts or something that's very handy and this is probably my most expensive uh recent purchase uh desk um uh, multimeter i guess uh it, it's really nice to have a desk meter even though you don't really need it uh, this one does pretty much everything that this one does, at least for what I'm using. And this one, <laughs> I think this was 120 bucks, and this is, I don't know, 20, 20, 30 bucks. Can't remember. So, so anyway, uh, but, but I do enjoy that one. So then uh, we come over here. This is my soldering iron, um, and then I just uh, uh, put the like if I'm gonna solder or something. Usually over here, I'll just set this down. Uh, originally, when I set things up, I thought I would be soldering on this table over here. Uh, but uh, this has kind of turned into the area that for my books. So as I am trying to learn something, I will uh, read about it over here. 
And then I'll go over here and build a circuit, test it out, uh, discover it doesn't do exactly what I thought it would do. <laughs> come back over here, read some more, then come over here and maybe look some online. Um, but it's turned out to be a pretty good setup. And one thing I found once I started getting back into electronics is I just started rereading a bunch of my old books and I found, uh, you know, I was, I was learning a bunch, but then when I go over here and I would try to implement what I'd learned, I realized I wasn't really learning anything. So I, I started all over again, back through the books. And each time I read about something, then I come over here and do an experiment to implement what I've learned. And I found this works really well, especially with this uh, setup that I've got here. So the other thing I've got is, got a drawer down here just so I can easily get to some tools. And then I've just got a whole bunch of uh, parts, random stuff I've collected over the years. You know, you can buy these cheap uh, things of uh, various parts. You can see I've got a bunch of them as I've kind of gone along. And it, that's one thing I've really enjoyed is how much cheaper it is now than it used to be. You can see here's uh, it's a bunch of microprocessor stuff up here. But uh, back, you know, when I was a kid and I was doing this, if you wanted to buy, you know, a bunch of transistors or something, you go to DigiKey and you'd have to guess what you wanted. Now you just go to Amazon and just buy a pack. I mean, you get a whole bunch of them for 10 bucks or something. <laughs> so anyway, I'm having fun. Uh, so this is my setup. Uh, so far, it's working really well. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And as always, thanks for watching.